Hey there, YouTube. It's JP Dunphy, your BMW genius here at BMW Fort Washington. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to change your various charging profiles here in iDrive 8, since it is a little bit different from iDrive 7. With that, let's get started. We start by going into Menu, and from here, you can either do Vehicle Apps or find it in All Maps, depending on where you want. But what you're looking for is charging. Going into charging, you see you have a lot more options here. So one of the main differences from this compared to old ones, you have more of an amp uh, limit that you can set. So if you have a particular place that you go to that has lower amp limits or has a strange breaker, you can actually limit the amount of amps coming in. And of course, that is now instead of just being out limited at 16 amps, you can do all of it. Uh, aside from that, you of course have the option to choose uh, charge immediately or time slots, depending on whether or not you have uh, you know, economic charging options at your house. So some people have places where when they charge at home, uh, it's basically cheaper and more efficient to charge it between, say, 11 p.m. and 6 a.m., and you can set it to do so as such. Uh, of course, there's also departure times. You have the options for one-time departure or uh, regu regular departures. Doing that, simply turn it on from the side here. Boop. And you can set your departure time, however you want, and which days of the week you want to do it. Super easy, simple, straightforward. Oops, didn't mean to go that far out. Other option you have now, some people don't always want to charge to 100%. Now, I personally think there's no problem with it. The batteries can handle it. They have built-in buffers specifically to let you charge to 100% and still be able to have things like regen when you start to drive. That's not something you find in Teslas. Teslas, you basically are limited to 90% charge unless it's one of their newer um, LFP batteries. But that's not here. Uh, and of course, as relatively obvious from here, you can adjust, I know, boop, different targets. So if you only want to charge to say 50%, 80%, whatever you might want, you can do it from right here. You can now unlock the charging cable from right here. And you can also tell it when it wants to unlock. So unlock it automatically at the end of charging or uh, unlock the charge cover permanently. So basically what that means is uh, the charge cover that you have on the back will not unlock or will not lock when your car locks. You can do that here. I don't know why you would, but you can. I always think it's helpful to have that on, so therefore, you're not hogging a charger if you're done charging and someone else wants it. Ah, oh, Jiminy Crickets. That's the second time I just did that. Sorry, still getting used to the system. And of course, last but not least, loudness of the fan. So, uh, if you want, you can basically have it so it's uh, completely unrestricted, aka as loud as it needs to be when you do things like, <clears throat> excuse me, we do things like preconditioning, all that, or you can make it be restricted so it doesn't run as loudly. Automatic is the best way to go, in my personal opinion. Sorry, could you say that again? I'm not hmm. talking to you, Siri. I'm having trouble hearing you. Good lord. I'm not talking to you. Ah. Oh. And with that, that is your char that is your uh, charging basics. Um, one thing I will do real fast, let's go on the outside of the car and I'll show you the charge ports in this and how it is different from previous models. Quick note before going outside. The newer charge display is right here, so you can see exactly how much charge you have in it, how many amps are being taken in on your current charger, uh, percentage, miles until empty, uh, when it will be fully charged, and right here basically tells you how much of your uh, 0 to 11 kilowatts you're currently using and the car can take in. With that, now let's go ahead. So underneath the flap itself, you do have something you're pretty used to, the J1772 plug, as found as standard. Now, the one thing that is mainly different here is the covers. So before, they didn't have covers. This one does have a right uh, thing, so as you can see, it's not directly straight up and down. So they need to protect against moisture a little bit more. So for that, they have this little adjustable cover right here for your AC. And of course, you use DC fast charging, release that for the full DC fast charge, up to 200 kilowatts of fast charging. And yes. This is what I was talking about inside. So if you want to, you can make this so that this is constantly unlocked and you can get to it simply and easily. Otherwise, it'll lock the second you are away from it. And if you lock the car, it's locked. So let's go ahead and unlock that. Boop. Boom. Take your card. Boop. And plug it in. And that's charging for your car. Thanks for being with us. If you found this helpful, like, comment, share, subscribe, all the typicals. Thanks again.